Good morning, everyone. It is July 5th, 2018. It is the last day of our 4th of July in Toy Story Land adventure. I know, it just flew by so fast for me. I'm going to miss it so much, but we had so many magical memories, and we have the next trip to look forward to. Now, before we start today's magical day, because we still have a day left, I want to give you a quick tour of my Pop Century room. As you come in this door here, first we have this cabinet area with the ice chest, couple cups, coffee maker, and refrigerator right down here. Now, this Pop Century room only has one bed. Most of the others that we've seen before have two beds, but this one just has the one. Across the way over here we have the large TV along with this cabinet area here, a desk, and a couple chairs. Next to the bed I wanted to show you these plugs. You have the standard outlets along with the USB charging areas. Super convenient if you just have a plug to plug in your phone, USB out right there. Going into the bathroom here you see there's an area to hang things up, a little bit more shelving, an ironing board here, tissues, towels, some more cabinets, hair dryer. There's a big mirror right there. Hi. We have tissues, extra shelving area, some shelving down there, towel, sink, small vanity mirror along with the light. That's helpful. And then going into the bathroom here, see toilet and shower. And there's one thing I'm super sad about in this shower. Are you ready for it? I don't like those pump bottles. Overall, I really do like the renovated rooms at Pop Century. I'm just staying here to sleep and shower and then go off for a magical day. And I like to resort hop at the deluxe resorts. So I'm staying here and just for that purpose, this is a great room. Now, before we head into the parks today, I have to take all of my things to Bell Services and get it all checked in for the flight. But then we'll be off to the parks for another magical day. Off to airline check-in. Okay, just checked in my bags from resort airline check-in. Now I just gotta drop a few things off, including my hat at Bell Services so they can hold it until the end of the day and then we'll be off for another magical day. I don't want to leave everybody now. I don't want to leave. I have heard really good things about that French toast from Woody's Lunchbox so I'm going to start the day at Hollywood Studios. This is an interesting way to start the day. I didn't realize these buses ran in the morning too but off to Hollywood Studios. fast pass for Slinky Dog in about 15 minutes, but it's open for an hour, so I might get breakfast before I ride. But you know one thing I haven't tried in a little while? The Tower of Terror. Let's go over there first. Quick tip, it's good to do the Tower of Terror before you eat. The Tower of Terror. Let's drop in, shall we? The dust everywhere, there's dust on the ground. This dust was no doubt put here for the theme. I kinda wanna back out, but I know that if I did, you'd never let me live it down. <laughs> mail in the mail slots, a key right there, hat and coat. Wow, I, I kinda wanna go on uh, this elevator. This is, this is the way out. This is the ride. <laughs> That was scary, but fun. Scary, but fun. I have like a blank stare on my face. I'm like, oh my god. Definitely an invigorating way to start the day. Hollywood Tower of Terror. Now I'm headed to Woody's Lunchbox. You know what, maybe I'll do Slinky Dog first since I have a fast pass for it, and then do Woody's Lunchbox for breakfast. Now usually I wouldn't try the same place for breakfast twice on the same trip, but I wanted to give it a try because I wanted to try that French toast. I've heard amazing reviews about it. I've got to try it. Look, it's scary. I do appreciate the roving characters, but at the same time, I would like to meet the stormtroopers, kind of like on a set somewhere, like you'd meet other characters. Maybe with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, maybe. Welcome to Andy's Backyard. Time is now 9.53, and breakfast ends at 10.30, so right in the Fast Pass line I go. I love the fact that Slinky Dog talks to you as he's going, so you can actually hear him talking. He's like, here we go, and hang on, and all that. Love it. <laughs> Thank you. It's a great ride for the whole family because it's not too, too intense for those who don't like the intensity, but it's not too mild for those who don't like the mild rides either. I think it's just right, just how it is. I'm in row six this time, so I've ridden in the very front, the very back, and now in the middle, getting all the experiences. Woo! Woo! Whoa! 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 <laughs> That was great. Now it's time for breakfast at Woody's Lunchbox. For breakfast this morning, I have the s'mores French toast sandwich from Woody's Lunchbox. Looks super sweet. Great way to start the day. Bon appetit. It doesn't taste like a breakfast item. 
<laughs> at all. It basically it tastes like you're just eating a giant piece of French toast, like soft French toast with chocolate and marshmallow. Overall, the French toast and s'mores sandwich. It was really good, kind of a dessert for breakfast. If you like that, you're gonna love it. If not, maybe that to breakfast bowl, which was also super good here at Woody's Lunchbox. So great breakfast, great way to start the day. Onward with the magic. Okay, Toy Story Land, I'll see you real soon. I don't remember that banner up there from before. I think that might be new. Take a look at these socks today. Perfect for Toy Story Land, sent to me by very kind friends. Thank you again. Good to see you. Looking great as always. Sturdy, you're looking sturdy. No maintenance needed, right? That's right. No, we don't know. I can't escape. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, okay, I'm pushing. Okay, I got it. I got it. I was trapped inside. I had to push on the door. It was hilarious. I, I thought the door would open automatically on the way out of BB-8. I just was standing there like, I'm trapped. I can't get out. I was just hoping the door would open. Everyone was laughing. It was hysterical. Take a look at these Stormtrooper silhouettes here. That is awesome. Okay, after a fun morning here at Hollywood Studios and a quick meet with BB-8, which was a lot of fun, I'm making my way back to the Magic Kingdom. I want to end the trip there. I don't want it to end. I really, really don't, but that's where I want to have my last memories from this unbelievably magical adventure. Really cool that they have a vote right up here. You can vote for your favorite. I have a feeling that interactivity via your phone is going to become more and more common. We're already seeing evidence of it in the Disney Parks Play app. Look at these. These are great. Monorail socks. You got the stiff socks right there. Alice in Wonderland. Cheshire Cat. Look at this one. Those are great. Meeting right by the entrance of Hollywood Studios, Donald and Daisy Duck. I didn't know they had a meet and greet here. All right, I'll be back at Hollywood Studios soon. In September, I'm coming back again. It's going to be a magical adventure. And it's because of that I'm going to smile as I'm leaving. See you real soon, Hollywood Studios. You can almost see a straight shot of the towers by the Skyliner. See the Skyliner right there, and then you can see the towers that go all the way down. I, I can't wait for this, really. And I'm thinking about if the buses will still be around as much. You know, you're thinking about, you know, if you go from Pop Century, is the only way to get to Hollywood Studios or Epcot via the gondola? or the bus is still going to be there. If I had to guess, I would say probably the buses will still be there, but they will encourage you to take the gondola, because I think there might be some who have hesitations about the gondola at first. It's just something to think about. We'll, we'll have to wait and see for this one. Truly a beautiful day. It always feels like the very last day of a Disney adventure it's like a beautiful weather kind of day. Have you ever noticed the more fun you have, the faster time appears to go? I know I'm not alone here, but it, this vacation has flown by. Even though it's been one of the longer ones, it has flown by. This coffee is thanks to Alyssa and Joy and her family. Thank you very much for the gift cards. It means so much to me. Something interesting that I've realized, my love for Disney has changed and it is continuing to change. And that, that's been a big fear of mine. You know, coming more frequently, I worry, am I going to get bored of it? Is it gonna get old to me? I am so worried about that. And it, it actually, it's something that goes through my mind when I think about would I love to move here one day and be even closer and be able to do this more full time. And so much of me says yes, and I love being able to be here and be able to share it with you. You have no idea how much I love it. And what I've realized is that my love for Disney has evolved into something that I can sit back, I can relax, I can look at the little things, I can people watch, I can enjoy the parade right from here, I can enjoy Cinderella Castle right from here, I can enjoy the pictures, more, you know, over rides at certain points. It has evolved and changed into something that I'm even more passionate about. And I didn't think this would happen. I thought it would just get old to me, but not a chance. It is just grown. My love for it has grown and changed, and I couldn't be happier about it. I have no doubt that it will continue to grow and change in the future, no matter what the future holds. I'm just so glad that I have this opportunity to share it with you. After sitting back and relaxing and finishing my coffee, thanks to you, I'm gonna make my way to be our guest now. I wanna try it for lunch again. Last time I tried it for lunch, it was only okay. I'm not so sure how I feel about it. I wanna give it another shot, so that's where I'm headed. Can you guys bring this thing down a bit? Testing. I had to come in and say hi to my yeah, friend Sonny Eclipse, of course. I found the Peter Pan float. It has key lime ice cream, Sprite, and a chocolate feather. I'm gonna try this after lunch and be our guest.
The sword was finally pulled from the stone of the hero of Fantasyland, but now we're headed to be our guest for lunch. So they're all, you're saying those are the best? They, yeah, they are. It is like, it's yeah. very good. I love the vegetables. Let's do that. I think I'm going to do that. Vegetable yeah, quiche today. The hardest part about lunch at Be Our Guest is finding a table because it is a counter service. So you just order your food and then you have to find your own table. Sure enough, found one right here with a beautiful view of my favorite room of Be Our Guest, the uh, ballroom. Unbelievably beautiful. Okay, trying the vegetable quiche from Be Our Guest. Let's give it a try together. This is the appropriate restaurant for Bon Appetit. Very uh, rich egg flavor. You can taste the mushrooms. That's a fantastic quiche. Now, I'm not sure about all these vegetables on the side, not really into the salad on the side thing. Maybe next time we'll get fries on the side of it. I know I'm at Disney, but calories don't count. The quiche overall, phenomenal. That vegetable quiche was really good. Kind of a light snack, a very, very light snack. Here at Be Our Guest, I wanted to try lunch again, and I'm glad I did. It was really, really good. Now, in the future, I'm gonna have to try dinner here at Be Our Guest with the new menu, but that's for a future adventure. Always astounded by the level of detail in Be Our Guest. I'll be back for sure. Okay, time for the Peter Pan drink. It's a brand new one here at Storybook Treats. I can't wait to try it. Okay, for the very first time, the Peter Pan float, which is Sprite and the lime ice cream. Let's give it a try together. Let's try the lime ice cream first. Limey, limey, super tart, but really good. It's interesting, it's interesting. The Sprite goes well with it. It's not a Dole Whip, it is not a replacement to a Dole Whip, not even close, but it is a very interesting treat. And I like how it's designed. You got the clear Sprite and the lime ice cream, which is green on top. One last ride on the People Mover. So if I just do this and go around again, they'll just move the Magical Express to later, right? Like, I'm not gonna have to worry about it. They'll take care of the flight, Magical Express. I'm just gonna stay on the people mover for a few days. I'll see you later. Just when I was about to leave for the Magical Express, look who I found. It's Edna Mode. Hello there. So glad you could make it, darling. I'm stalling. I'm stalling to see Edna. It, it doesn't count against Magical Express time. I'm stalling. Lovely to see you, darling. Good to see you. Yes, you, darling. Thank you. Not you. Oh, <laughs> Loved it. So glad I got a chance to see her. Oh, perfect. Perfect cap to the trip. Perfect. All right, I'm going to slowly make my way out. Slowly. Stopping at every possible stop I can between here and Tomorrowland and Main Street USA. The pain of leaving, it hurts. But knowing I'm coming back soon helps. It, it really does, it really does. <sighs> I'll be back really soon. I miss it already. <laughs> I'm not even 50 yards from it and I miss it. Mm. That's how you know you love a place. Again, this plays into the idea of being a local. You don't have to leave ever and you know, it's a, it's an interesting thought. You know, it's an interesting thought. Maybe one day in the future. You know, Golden Oaks is bus stop number nine. I mean, I could go the other direction. <laughs> Maybe one day in the future. But now, now you know what, now I'm gonna be positive. This is, this is a positive thing, because that means we can get ready for our next adventure. And I have some surprises that are going to really, they're gonna make you laugh when you hear about these surprises coming for the September adventure. I cannot wait to share them all with you. So much to look forward to in the future. Including Alani too. There's so many adventures to look forward to in the future, so leaving with a smile. The bus is already here, and the sooner I get on this bus, the sooner I get back here again for our September Food and Wine Festival and Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party adventure. So much to look forward to. I'm gonna keep saying that so I continue to smile. Just refilled my mug for the last time on this adventure. Going to Bell Services to pick up a few bags, but then we'll be coming back soon 
and the countdown begins again. It was so much fun. I, I had so much fun on this trip. I, I can't imagine it going any better, and I'm so glad I came. I'm looking forward to more trips in the future, especially our September one coming up and Alani coming up. A lot of things to look forward to. Now I'm just waiting for the Inspirational Express to take us back to my temporary housing location before I make it back home in September. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. Bye Pop Century. I'll see you real soon. Just amazing to see the tower in progress here at Coronado. When it's complete, I cannot wait to take a look inside. Okay, Mickey, I'll see you in 65 days, 14 hours, 22 minutes, and 50 seconds. From the airport, take a look at this really cool pin. I've never seen it before. It's Space Mountain with a little smiley face on it. That is super cool. That is a really nice shirt, but they only have them in larges and extra larges, which wouldn't fit my sister or mom. They do have this blue one, though. Look at this. True original Mickey. Little small for me though. Take a look at that mug, Star Wars, and look at the handle here, it's a lightsaber. That is too cool, $19. Here's another great Star Wars one, look at this, with Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers on there, and look at the handle, it's his lightsaber handle, the uh, two-sided one. That is just too cool. Now it's time to say, see you real soon as I go through security and make my way back to my temporary housing location. But I'll be back, I will be back very soon. The faster we go through security, the faster we get back here for another magical adventure. So you ready to go through security? Here we go. And just like that, we're on our way back. Okay, now I'm going to just eat some dinner and wait for my flight. It's still about two hours away at this point, so got plenty of time. That counts because I've left Disney at this point. Just had my fall asleep on the airplane because I was definitely burning the candles at both ends, but uh, loved every minute and already thinking about our next adventure together. Okay, Mickey, see you real soon. Apparently they moved the luggage area to number six and I can't find my things. I think that's one of them right there, the blue one. I think that that's one of them. And there's the second one, thank goodness. And here's my ride. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until our next vacation, have a magical night.